Hi, this is Lynn Jacob, founder of MLJ Coaching International and creator of the seven simple strategies for success in your small business. And if you've been reading my newsletters lately and watching my videos, then you know that I'm in Australia. And recently I was at Cowboy School, as they call it, and I saw so many similarities, so many parallels to the way Tim Skerritt of Jackaroo and Jillaroo School trains his animals, his horses and his dogs. Oh my gosh, what incredible dogs he has as well as horses. But the way he trains them relative to the way we need to be training our employees in our businesses, it, there were so many parallels. And in fact, sitting around the campfire once, and Tim, knowing what it is that I do, how it is that I serve the world and help small business owners, was asking me for some advice on marketing for his business. And as I was giving him advice on marketing, some tips that I would share with him to market his business that would be so simple to do, then I was actually using his language with the way he was teaching us to teach the horses, and I was using that in what I was sharing with him about marketing his business. Now, I just I guess I was starting this video to tell you about the parallels between employees and the way he's teaching his animals. And I don't find that disrespectful at all because his animals are his tools for growing his business. Your employees are also tools for growing your business, but they're all living creatures. So I was going to be talking about that, and then since I got into the story of it as sitting around the campfire, it went into marketing. So Tim was asking, what would you give me as advice to sell my business? To me? Okay, I said to him, well, you're kind of doing it now. You want to get people like Justin, his right-hand man, coming up through the ranks. And another Australian sitting beside me said, uh, I think there was a misunderstanding there. I think Tim means market his business. So you see there's another communication challenge. Okay, so marketing his business. I said, strategy number six of my seven simple strategies for success, my seven key business strategies is get referrals from impressed clientele. So. Tim, all you have to do, I said around the campfire that day in the cold, what is send a newsletter out to each and every student you've ever had and encourage them to spread the word and get referrals from those impressed clientele. And I went on and described it at some length and his wife said, oh, I don't know if I really like that. And then I talked about how, you know, people will get your email, they'll read it and they'll say, you know what? That speaks to me. I think I should do that. Geez, that'd be a lot of fun to go out there to cowboy school for a week. Yeah, hmm, I'll think about that later. Much like people do with my newsletters. They read my newsletters, they listen to my videos, and they say, you know what, yeah, geez, I'd really like to find a way to triple my profits that would be a hell of a lot easier than what I'm going through now. And have more fun? Geez, I'd love to have more fun in my business. And retirement? I don't even know if I ever will retire. And then they think about it. And when they think about it, they get lost in indecision. So that's why these newsletters, not only for my business and for Tim's business, but for everybody's business, yes, even construction trade contractors. That's why these newsletters need to go out to people, maybe in different ways, but they need to go out consistently and persistently with rhythm, as I mentioned to Tim, because he talks about training horses with rhythm. So. If you're not connecting with your past customers who know, love, and trust you and your services, then you're leaving a whole lot of money just sitting on the table. Those people still need your services. They need your services again, or they know somebody who needs your services. And by putting yourself front of mind for them, you're going to help them get off the fence. You're going to help them refer you to other people. And then when you give them a call, and that's what you need to do, when you give them a call, then it's 
so much easier for them to be able to refer you to other people. So that was Marketing 101. Stay in front of your impressed clientele. So first impress them, then get referrals from them. Simple as that. You want more profits? You want more fun? You want a retirement that's ready and waiting for you, one that's designed by you, for you? Simple as that. This is Lynn Jacob, creator of the Seven Simple Strategies for Success and founder of MLJ Coaching International. Talk to you again soon about your employees and how to get them to work like the tools that they are for you in growing your business. Okay, talk to you soon.